A lot of people ask me how do I create my before and after images. Well, it's pretty easy. Today we are going to find out how. Let's say for example that you want this subject, this guy to be on a new layer. Select and here subject. Then take again the rectangular or elliptical or any market tool and right click on the screen and choose layer via copy. And now we have this guy on a new layer. Double click on the layer and we will go to stroke and immediately you will see a preview on the screen with that stroke and we can play with the size and you will see the changes. As I said I use outside, if you choose inside it will look like that, if you choose center it will look like that. So depending on what you want to show you can play around with the position, as I said usually I use outside, then just press ok. Let's say you want to select this guy, you create a new layer and then go on the background image and choose select and subject, it will make a selection of your subject. Select now the new layer and with the marquee tool, rectangular or any other one, right click on the screen and choose stroke. Depending on your image size you can choose any width that you want and here on the location I will choose outside and I hit ok. And now you have this white stroke on a new layer. Let's say for example that you created a really great artwork, like the one that I have here. So when people are looking at this image, uh, this artwork, they will say, ah okay, it looks great, I think it was just one picture. But it wasn't just one picture, I used a lot of photos. So for that I will create a before and after to show my audience that I have used a lot of photos. First of all, you need to create a screenshot or if you have saved this one already it is better, so create a screenshot by pressing Ctrl Alt Shift and I. To prepare the before picture you have to uncheck all the lights, shadows, color adjustments, everything that you have added and made the final image look that great. So after I have uh, hidden all the shadows, lights, uh, masks, everything that I have worked on, uh, my artwork looks like that. So now if I want to have a white stroke around each uh, object that I have used in this artwork, I will go to that uh, object, for example this uh, Star Wars ship and I will double click on the layer and here on the stroke I will use the stroke and a size, as I said, depending on your image size, in my case let's say 10 pixels and position outside and click OK. And I will repeat the process to the other elements that I have over there. So this is how it looks after I have finished with the white stroke. After I done that, let's create a before and after. I'll go on top of everything and I'll create a screenshot. The shortcut for that is Ctrl Alt Shift and I. And now depending on your image size, you'll have to create a document that is two times wider than this one. And when I go to new, I'll create a document that is two times wider than that, so in my case I will just double this 32 into 64. And then I'll press create to make a new file. And I will paste that before picture and I will move it to the left. And then I will drag the final one next to this one. If you want you can also write before and after on the images but it's pretty obvious that the one in the left is the before one. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to watch those videos next if you want to learn even more about photo manipulation and Photoshop.